Welcome to Two Dudes in a Review. I'm Matt. I'm Luke. And today we are reviewing Gerald's Game. Gerald's Game is on Netflix if you want to check it out. And it is about this couple, middle-aged couple, who wants to reignite their love life by going up to their lake house. When they get there, uh, the husband, Gerald, wants to... uh, live out one of his fantasies and change his wife to the bedpost. This makes her uncomfortable and they have a little bit of a quarrel. In the midst of the quarrel, he uh, has a heart attack and passes away, dies right there on top of her. She kicks him off the bed and she's left uh, with both of her arms chained to the bedpost and she has to find a clever way out of Uh, this situation of being stuck in her house with no one around to help her for miles while she also fights off some premonitions in her mind uh, of her dead husband, of herself, and uh, some things that haunt her from her past. Let me just say what the audience is thinking probably. Great vocab throughout that whole time. Thank you, man. Coral? Wow. (laughs) Wow. Good thing I saw the movie because I wouldn't know what that meant. All right. Now, we shall guess each other's scores. For you, I think you will give it a 5.7. Whoa. For Uh-oh. you? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Classic us. Uh, I guess 8.3 for you. All right. Different ball game going on. Yeah. Yeah, so what did you think? They didn't really think 8.3. <laughs> That's for starters. Um, just with the beginning of it, I really didn't know what to expect with it because it said horror. Mm -hmm. I really wouldn't say it was a horror, more of a thriller. Yeah, definitely. Falls more into that category. There really wasn't, there was like one thing that was scary, the Moonlight Man. Oh, yeah. He was a little creepy. At the end, I I got a little creeped out by it. Yeah, it was. But, uh. What about when uh, it cut to him licking her toes? Yes, that was really weird. That's, that's, that gave me a little jumps. I didn't jump at it. I don't even know. I might not have been watching them movie i don't know <laughs> i didn't jump at that part though i just thought it was weird but just going in, i didn't really know what was going to happen with the movie and i liked what happened with it because like at first i thought the husband was just gonna because they yeah. do she changed her to the bed and she gets upset not wanting to play on his game mm-hmm. so i thought he was just gonna be like oh screw you i'm gonna kill you now yeah so i thought that was nice that he wasn't the villain right also he attempted like he pretty he nearly rapes her yes. after she like says that she doesn't want to play Happy along. it didn't happen. Yeah, didn't I was like, see that. I did not want to watch a movie about that. Especially because it's called Gerald's Game. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, ah, here we go. This is what it's going to be about. I, I thought at first it. he was going to be like the villain just because it was Gerald's Game. Mm-hmm. So I was very happy that it wasn't about him. Mm-hmm. And whenever he does come back to life, kind of, but it's like a ghost in something mind, in her yeah. mind. And I thought that was real at first. Yeah. Very happy it wasn't real because I thought he was going to come back and then just like rape her or something. Mm-hmm glad that didn't happen yeah it's funny like he's not the villain Mm -hmm. but he's definitely like the antagonist of the whole movie because he he, he's like the negative or like the devil in her mind kind of like telling her all the things like she's not gonna live blah 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 like like beating her down just like he did when he was alive he's kind of like a uh he's just mean as a guy (laughs) he's a bad husband and um like always putting her down and stuff and like belittling her there's a vocab word oh it's another (laughs) Um, one but, so, he is still, like, the antagonist, but he's not, like, actively trying to kill her or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was cool how he was, like, the two thoughts in her head, like, the little devil angel on your shoulder. Uh-huh. He was, like, the devil, and she was the angel. Yeah. That was really interesting with that. And then also, just whenever the dog first showed up in the beginning, there was this feral dog. Feral. <laughs> wow. Give me, give me one point. Them all, man. Three to one right now. All right. <laughs> Um, so there was a feral dog and she tries to feed him at first. First off, that ribeye trying to give to him. Uh-huh. That looked divine. <laughs> that's, that's another one. Yeah, divine, right. good. Three to two. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that looked great. But anyways, I, then I thought the dog was going to play a role in it. Mm-hmm. And he does a little bit, but I'm glad it wasn't just like the dog attacking her the oh, whole time. Right, yeah. But like, I liked where the plot went with her. It was just her versus nature, I would say. Mm-hmm. That's the way you could categorize it. I'm glad it wasn't, like, typical horror where it's just, like, a bad guy breaking into yeah, the exactly. lake house. Yeah, that's what I liked about it, too. It's a Stephen King book. But also, the director is right now working on the sequel to The Shining. Shining. 
So that'll be cool because he's already done a Stephen King movie. What did you not like about it? I'm assuming since you guessed 5.7 yes, that you missed some stuff you didn't like. So I did a lot of it up until the very ending. Yes. Where the turns out that the movie should have ended with her escaping. So they show her escaping. Yeah. I'll just spoil it for you. I'm sorry. But she like crashes a car and then she lives. Yeah. I wasn't sure if she's going to live or not. I love that, too. Like, throughout the whole entire movie, let me just go back a little bit. Throughout the whole entire movie, I didn't know what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. It wasn't predictable, I didn't think. So I liked that a lot about it. Yeah. So a lot of times we went with that, she would die at the end. I wanted her to live. I'm happy she yes. did live. There's, like, something called, like, torturing your protagonist, which mm -hmm. makes you makes the viewer root for the protagonist. And th this movie did a great job at that. Um, like, right when you thought something was going to go well for her... Like, for example, when she got the water down, mm -hmm. you think that she's going to be able to drink the water because she hadn't dr drinking anything for, like, a day. And then her she's chained to... Her her hand is chained too far from her mouth, so she can't even get the water, so she has to think of a creative way to get that done. So it's like she's constantly being tortured. And even, like, right when you think something's going to go her way, it never does. And I thought that the movie did well at that. But I do agree with what you said about the ending of the movie because... There's, like, this whole thing with, like, the Moonlight Man, who you think is a premonition in her head because she's having all these weird premonitions, and then it ends up not being a premonition. It's just a real guy who's deformed and... Yeah, and steals ...goes into a grave, dead bodies, grave digger, yeah. and then eventually starts just raping men. Yeah. That's why she... It's With just staring. a guy that only rapes men, not the women, so he didn't rape her in the house. Uh-huh. Um, it was just... Which is just, like, not what the movie was about, really. No, and it ended with just that for another like 10, 10 minutes yeah, when exactly. it was explaining him yeah and that was so stupid which it's like what but if i did think that they like pulled it off rape was like a big thing in this movie like she yeah you, you hear about her husband like the, you see the husband thing and then you find out about the dad her dad when she was young was weird um really weird and <laughs> um but so like the whole rape thing and then also it was cool with the wedding ring so there's like some cool things that happen with the moonlight man but i do i will give you that i thought that it was, was just so stupid it shouldn't the fifth last 15 minutes shouldn't be all about the moonlight man yes exactly because yeah. he doesn't play like he kind of plays a role but all it is is just being something that's more fearful for her yeah especially because the whole it's, movie takes place in this one setting pretty much yeah and then the last 15 minutes is all about the moonlight man and it takes place in a courtroom and out on the streets like i don't care about the yeah, moonlight man either i'm just glad she got out yeah but does that mean that the Moonlight Man was actually licking her toes, or was it the dog? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, the Moonlight Man stuff was weird. It did add a little bit of horror in the middle of the movie. But overall, I thought the story was great. Because, once again, it was like kind of like one of those movies that we've been watching lately, um, like Marjorie Prime, for example, where the movie is like, about what's taking place right now however they but a lot about the past yeah they keep referencing the past and that. flashbacks and I, i'm into that right now i keep i'm not picking movies like that on purpose but... and long dialogue scenes yeah as well Good and then oh the acting was great the acting was very well she was made me so claustrophobic and if it was it is categorized as a horror and i can see kind of how it is there like i didn't think it was but it could be there just because there's a lot of disturbing stuff that happens in yes. this one and, oh, man. Yes. It almost makes me happy the Ted Bundy movie wasn't like that, because, oh. <laughs> but this one did it, for sure. Yeah, a that lot was of really weird one of stuff. the grossest things I've ever seen. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. She, Whenever she's escaping, she does some really gross stuff, and it's very graphic. I had to look away. Yeah. I, like, I couldn't watch it. I just, oh, 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 just oh, kept oh, looking, oh, oh, you know? Yeah. I didn't like, oh, that was really gross, but awesome, too, I guess. Yeah. It, it really was. Yes. No. All right. So, clean slate. Zero, zero. And I guessed 8.3 for Luke. I gave it a 5.9. Okay, so 5.9, 6.9, 7.9, would be 2.4. I thought you would give it a 5.7. And I gave it an 8.1. Bro, I think that's 2.4. That's Tie game! Is that three weeks in a row? 
Maybe. Or was point? Yeah, there's a point one difference. I know. Yeah, close though. Wow, these are some tight games, man. At the same time, we're both far off. <laughs> <laughs> Not last week. We did great last week. Yeah, true. All right, but we're back to our thing where we have no idea what our taste in movies is. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Check out our later one of Master of Disguise to see how the competition between us finishes up. Uh, like, subscribe. Rock on.